Welcome everybody to this episode of The Beer Show. I'm your host, Frédéric Bouchard, and today I am drinking a surprisingly really good product that I bought really cheap, and I wanted to do a quick review on the go, so really quickly. So I bought a Loch Ness from uh, Les Brasseurs RG. It cost me $189 plus refund and tax, of course, and uh, it's a Scotch Hale, six percent alcohol by volume, <clears throat> and it is a really good product. Scotch Hale are not, I would say, my favorite kind of beer most of the time, but uh, I was having it uh, with my supper, and I was drinking it, and I was like, "Wow, oh my God, this is so good!" So it was like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna do a little review on this product." So uh, let's do it. If I want to make it quick, I gotta stop talking and I gotta start drinking. So I already tasted it. So just the color itself is really interesting. <clears throat> it's a really, uh, I would say, uh, uh, let's see. I'm gonna put it yeah on the white. So you can see it's a re it, it almost looks like a, like a red hell. So. Uh, really dark caramel uh, color but not really black so as you can see not a lot of head so uh, it's really not a carbonated beer I guess the smell really smell caramel in there coffee and toffee too yeah definitely I think toffee is the most prominent, pro eminent uh, scent in there. <clears throat> really good. That's really not my kind of beer, I would say, most of the time. But it was going really well, too, because it's, it's, it is kind of not overwhelming, but it is a powerful beer. And I was eating. Uh, lentils and rice with a lot of herbs and garlic so I needed something that could hold up hold up to it so I was like well this beer should be okay and it is it is it was perfectly what I had to to eat <clears throat> and even even after eating it it's super it's good so um, what I get in there I do get also, yo, just before the nose, I get a hint of hop in there. So I get in the taste. I get uh, hoppiness, of course. I still get uh, bitterness, and it, it's quite dry. Let's be honest. It leaves in the mouth a little dry taste, but it's not. It's not bad. I, it's, it goes well with this beer. I taste a little bit like red wine in there. <clears throat> it's strange. And of course, again, I, caramel, the coffee, and the toffee. It's really there, not only in the scent, but also in the taste. And uh, yeah, it's pretty darn good. It's just sad that it doesn't have a lot of head. So as you can see, the brew uh, went really, really uh, quickly. I, I, there was no brew at all. So uh, that's the downsize of it, but I would grade it 8 out of 10, and I'm really surprised because that's not the type of beer that I usually uh, love. I don't hate them, but this one, 8 out of 10. All right, guys, take care. Got to go back.